We're talking with Frances Stegall. It's February the 4th, 2014, in her home here in Muleshoe. And Frances Stegall, what, what was the date of your birth? Um, August the 3rd, 1911. And where were you born? Lockney, Texas. In Lockney, Texas. Now, was it in the town, or did, were you... It was just a little village. Yes, just a small village. And I was born there. Then we moved to Paris, Texas. And from Paris, Texas to McAdoo. <laughs> and and from McAdoo on out here to Bailey County. And so what year did you come to Bailey County? 1922. 1922. And, and where did you first settle? We settled out at Goodland, as south, sand, south of the sand. And there was a sand uh, pile. But we had to cross to come to Muleshoe. So we made our headquarters, really, at Sudan because we didn't have to go through the sand. You always got stuck and had to carry a shovel and dig out. <laughs> so electricity didn't come to that part of the t- country until 45. Now, in 44, we had bought an old grocery store. And anyway... We had everything by gasoline lanterns, and we had a we had a long about six o'clock gas would go and light all the lanterns up and put it around up, and uh, we had egg candling and cream testing and ice house and a, a gas station and oil station and just everything that you had. We had about. There was probably a, a farmer on every quarter. If he's a section of land, why well, there's before. So we had a lot of people there. So we didn't get a telephone or electricity until 45. Now, it came from Morton, and I don't know why. And it came up to Tyson's, and he wouldn't let them cross their land. They had to cross it to to get up south to get to our place. So we went another year without electricity. So Bud Warren, I think he was a commissioner. His his little boy was in my Cub Scout troop. Anyway, uh, he, he said, one day he said, Francis, why don't you have electricity? And I said, I don't know. We just don't think it won't cross the land. He said, I'll see that we do. So that we crossed the land in 45, and we got electricity then. We had Electrolux, a gas gas Electrolux. You burned a, a, a butane, and that kept the meat. Goat, the, we were about six miles from Maple. Maple had electricity, and uh, they had a grocery store there. And... Uh, Anyway, the uh, people would make them. The, they 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 would they deliver to them, but they wouldn't deliver off of the pavement because we were off of the pavement six miles, and tires were rationed, everything was rationed, you know. So that we didn't get any help there. So finally, in forty five. Uh, Bud Warren, I don't know why, uh, he must have been a commissioner. Anyway, uh, he said, Francis, wh- why don't you all get le- uh, electricity? And I said, well, they just came to Tyson's, and they wouldn't, Tyson wouldn't let us cross his land. He said, we'll see to that. So in 45, we got it. Um, to begin with, he and his brother had been cowmen. They were called Kings of the South. <laughs> they they had around, oh, 44,000 acres of land. The Some was bought and some was released and some was mooched. But anyway, they ran about 3,500 head of cows, uh, 3,500 head of cows a year. And so it went from where the Old Bailey Burl uh, graveyard is to the line of New Mexico, and then on down south, to nearly to Bledsoe. And so uh, he had, they, when they when the big blizzard came, 
in back in I think it must have been in twenty three twenty four but anyway it was a blizzard for three days and nights and ever the cows just they'd walk up to the fence and just walk over they'd pile them up you know and all the cowmen went broke and so then they began selling it out for farmers uh frank my husband cass his name was frank but okay. everybody called him cass he was uh in college at canyon and uh, they were just getting ready to ship them when our mistress came and they and funny thing they they had a football team and it was never scored on or defeated <laughs> but anyway uh our mistress came and he got out of the army and he was 10 years younger than his older brother and the older brother was the boss so it's a long story and everybody knows it that knows the left around. And Cass never was a good farmer. He hated it. But he farmed when they went broke. And the older brother absconded with all the money and, you know, became a millionaire down at Kilgore, you know, in all of. So anyway, we had been farming. And, and y- your parents were, were who? Gaddy. T.G. Gaddy. T.G. Gaddy. T.G. Okay. Gaddy. And your mother? Uh, Lynn. 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 And, and, uh, and so what year did you meet Cass? Uh, in, well, when we came out there, they, that, that was in uh, 1922. We moved out from McAdoo, my mother and daddy and sister. I only had one little sister. She was four years older than I, and uh, uh, and uh, we moved out uh, from McAdoo and just moved out to nothing but grass and cows and cowboys. You know, there wasn't any in settlers. And that was nineteen twenty-two. Nineteen twenty-two. Wow. And so, uh, no lights, you know, they're like, if you go out in the country now, there's lights every section. Oh, no. And the lights, it was darkness. Yeah. Pure darkness. They, they all had kerosene lamps. And we had a gasoline lantern. Daddy had a gasoline lantern that he would pump up, you know, pump up the, get, put the gas in, and then he'd pump it up, and it'd be bright. So... We didn't have any kind of uh, convenience, you know, telephone or... What was your house like? What? Your house like. In tw- what was your house like in 1922? Daddy, Daddy built a four-room house, a plank house. Each room was 24 by 24. And I mean 12 by 12. Okay. Of that, each room. And... Uh, most of our friends had half dugouts. They would come and they'd dig down, say six feet, and then they put a top on, on top of the, the hole, and they'd go down and they had a, a we call it a scuttle hole. You'd, you'd go down six steps down to them. And most of them, uh, at that time, most of them were they didn't come to Betty County uh, for, well, I was the only pupil for a couple of years there. And maybe they, maybe they, a cowman would move in and he'd stay three or four months and then he'd move on somewhere else, you know. And, and of course, mother, mother was uh, uh, with daddy all the time. She and daddy, uh, I were very close. They were just kids when they married. They were 19 each when they married. And so we little girls grew up. We were to go to college when we graduated. But we had to go to Lubbock to stay a couple of years with Grandma that lived there to go through affiliated school 
before we could get into college. So there was no school in those oh, days no, out no. there? Mm-hmm. And what was your sister's name? Little. She married Tommy Galt, and Tommy Galt was a director on Electric for years. Uh, um, mother just had a big stove, a four burner stove that burned wood, and then she had a kerosene stove. The two of them were in the kitchen, and she, if she wanted to fix pies or or fancy things, she used the kerosene. And if she wanted to boil something, she'd use the wood stove. So we got along fine. We didn't know there was any any heaven <laughs> like that. Right. 